Good evening, I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. In a 5-4 to four decision, the Supreme Court justices struck down a major part of the Voting Rights Act. The part that determines the qualifications for determining which states must receive pre-approval from the Justice Department before making any changes to their voting laws. Some say it's a move forward in society and others say it's a regression for Americans and discrimination. KFTM reporter Justin Hinton joins us live in the studio with details. Justin. Kelly, the Voting Rights Act is widely considered the most important piece of American civil rights legislation. Just as the day President Lyndon B. Johnson signed it into law went down in history, so too will the day that part of it was struck down. Today, we strike away the last major shackle. August 6, 1965, the day President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Voting Rights Act, protecting minority voters, particularly in the racially divided South. Well, I was a youngster, uh, but I do recall uh, times after that. Times where racial difference erupted in violence. A stark contrast the Supreme Court justices ruled compared to today. One of the reasons for striking down Section 4 of the Act, defining which entities would need preclearance from the Justice Department when it comes to making changes in election rules. When I first heard it, I was uh, disturbed because with them striking down Section 4, I think it pretty much uh, disables Section 5. And um, I'm not convinced that we're at a point that... Um, Section 4 or 5 would not still be required. But the justices thought differently, sending the decision back down to Congress to determine which entities will need preclearance. Not good enough for Samuel. At one point I had faith in Congress, but in recent years I'm not really sure that uh, our Congress will do what it takes to ensure justice and quality for all of its citizens of our country. And whether Congress decides to enact a law or not, well, Samuel says there is something everyone can do. What I would ultimately want is people to continue to pray and be vigilant, be involved, and vote. And it's important to note that Section 5, which is the part that requires certain entities to receive preclearance, was upheld. But some say without Section 4, Section 5 is virtually ineffective. So it looks like we'll have to wait and see what Congress decides to do. Reporting live in the studio, Justin Hinton, 6 News Tonight.